Life begins as single cellular organisms in the water. Cyanobacteria photosynthesize with sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide, producing carbohydrates and oxygen with which animals flourish. Excess oxygen accumulates in the atmosphere and interacts with ultraviolet radiation to form a protective ozone layer in the upper atmosphere. Initially, reproduction occurs by replication with no change in genetic code. To adapt to variable environmental conditions, organisms can only rely on mutation for genetic change. Thought to be the first living organisms, prokaryotes are without nuclei and remain unicellular. Cells gather as colonies and become increasingly specialized as they do so, setting the stage for the formation of multicellular organisms. Life develops into multicellular forms and sexual reproduction is invented in the eukaryotes. Sexual reproduction helps in genetic mixing for newborns to cope with variable conditions. Genetic compositions that do not fit into the environment are phased out eventually. The first sexual reproduction comes in the form of eggs and sperms meeting by chance after being released into the water in vast quantities. This method is biologically expensive, involving a large amount of wastage as many do not meet. Upon fusion, the newly born grows up, again by chance as many perish in an unfavorable environment. The first body plan is asymmetrical as found in sponges. Radially symmetrical animals have top and bottom, but they don't have left and right sides, or front and back. Radial symmetry enables sea creatures, like jellyfish and starfish, to experience the environment equally from all directions. Animals with bilateral symmetry have a head and tail, front and back, and right and left sides. The evolution of bilateral symmetry promotes the development of a central nervous system at the animal's front end and allows for streamlined and directional motion. From bilateral symmetry, the development of vertebra, spinal cord, as part of the central nervous system allows animals to swim more efficiently in water. Fish is the first vertebrate. Nearly all fish reproduce by external fertilization as described earlier. They develop kidneys to excrete excess salt that enters the body from the sea. Jawless fish evolves into jawed fish, which branches into cartilaginous fish and bony fish. Jaws allow for powerful gripping, killing, and cutting of prey. Cartilaginous fish, which includes sharks and rays, reproduce by internal fertilization, a process that is more targeted and less wasteful. Some bony fish venture into rivers where the water contains less salt. Freshwater fish reclaim salt from their kidneys before excreting excess water from their body. Some fish encounter shallow streams and paddle through the difficult terrain with their pairs of pectoral and pelvic fins. Slowly, their fins become bony and develop into fore and hind limbs. With lungs that evolve from swim bladders, fish crawl out of the water and become amphibians. Fish are mostly carnivorous but never omnivorous.